Overlord is licensed and produced by Kodakawa Shoten, Groove and Funimation. Studios, Madhouse, Networks, ATX, Tokyo MX, Sun, KBS, TVA, BS11 and MBS. Based on the works by Kugan and Maruyama. Please support the official release. Hello dear YouTube, Jack here with more Overlord Season 3 Episode 7. And last time what we even had, we went, uh, we finally went to the Peru Empire and learned a couple of interesting things. And I need to make a correction because, well, technically the people in the comments corrected me on the nonsense I was talking about. But most importantly, the, the, the Death Knight thing figure spawn has nothing to do with Nazarick at all. It's actually just, you know, the normal Death Knight spawn, which is fine, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> and I've talked about this in the comments a couple of times already, but uh, with people who say that the, 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 the anime unfortunately fails to cover a lot of ground that the novel does, which, yeah, is unfortunate, but you know, animes are on a very strict time schedule with how long episodes have to be and you can only get a couple of seconds out of it by shortening or lengthening the ending or how much you show of the ending which is not really enough time to squeeze in a lot of exposition that they're probably skipping now and I, I know this is frustrating for the people who read the novels and it's, it's kind of frustrating for me too because you know I'm missing out on the information that now I have to be told through comments but I don't I can't just I just can't find myself to fault the anime for it in a lot of instances. Because it is it doesn't feel like the anime drags any scenes out more than they have to be. As in, like, this is clearly where they could have cut time to show more of this or that. So yes, it, it's missing out on things, but I don't think you could do much better, honestly. So it's just unfortunate circumstance, all in all. Yeah, that's pretty much the most important thing uh, that people have been correcting me about. As for other stuff, well, yeah, this little group of theirs is gonna go raid the Great Tomb of Nazarick, not that they know what they're gonna be in for. And I'm so excited for it. Someone even said it was gonna be the, the second most gruesome arc ever. Epic! <laughs> I'm honestly so looking forward to it. Death flags everywhere. Like you know, I'm I'm gonna save my little sister or those those other two from Forsyth who I don't know perhaps want to get married after this. <laughs> I don't I don't think they've they've said as much, but you know at this point regarding death flags, you might as well go for it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that not Eins knows that they are gonna go for the Great Tomb of Nazarick, right? I mean, it hasn't been explicitly stated because they don't know that they're gonna go there, but he knows where the tomb is on the map and where they are going. That's the same place, so he should know. Either way, we're gonna see soon. So enough intro, let's get into this episode because I'm looking all kinds of forward to what it has in store for us. In three, two, one. Hmm. That's, that's one way to put it, yes. <laughs> uh, just created as a fancy game location, probably. That, actually, is the case, yes. <laughs> yeah, you're just, you're just for just boating everything. Still love the opening. Uh, they're all gonna die, aren't they? You know, as I've said many times now, I'm reading the novel, so I'm doing it at a remarkable slow pace right now, still not done with volume 2. 
And anyway, in Volume 1, they repeatedly mentioned that back in the gaming days, there was a big raid with I don't know how many people, uh, level 100 adventurers, who actually got like all the way th to uh, the, what was it, the sixth floor? No, maybe even past it, you know, the amphitheater, amphitheater, I don't know how to pronounce this goddamn word. The, the, the freaking level where Aura and Made are on, and they even got past that. Which is, you know, the background here. And that was a way bigger party than what they have now, but... Anyway, they mentioned this so many times, and I just keep thinking, what was it like? To finally see the, the tomb being attacked. Which, when you think about it, the whole place of putting all your guards there is in hopes of being attacked, no? If you, if you just put them all there and nobody ever attacks, it's boring as hell, isn't it? If this is the best you can do with magic, then yeah. <laughs> you guys are so many screwed so many ways. Ooh, that's a neat little magic. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that beautiful crest. You know, I can't really tell the difference between the dialect, if, if that's what's supposed to not just the tone, but you know, the way, the manner of speaking in Japanese. <laughs> Neat! <laughs> I'm honestly just so excited that we finally get to see this. Well, I think, you know, the people used to have that Ring of Einzel go so they could teleport back and forth as they wished. So who knows if there's an entrance like that. <laughs> Should cut him off before he can get any objections in. Also, why did this guy bring, like, I don't know, what looks like slaves? <laughs> I mean, you know... Wait, first level is Shaltier, right? I mean, no chance they would even get past that. If they actually run into a floor guardian, you know? That's game over right there. But there might be, you know, just some low level uh, undead spawns. Yeah, like that. You know, Shalty mentioned something in season one where they can't they can't measure the difference between low level spawns and insects like you. <laughs> I mean, Shalti said as much in regards to brain using martial arts or something, you know? Because it wasn't too big enough a difference for her to tell. Ooh, gold plate! <laughs> yeah, he knows. Why do you cheer up about the prospect that you should expect the worst and that you're gonna die? I mean, it's not it's not a bad idea, in a way, but nothing to be that happy about. Ooh. Well... <laughs> gotta take... Gotta handle the first raid in however many years, huh? I don't even know, has it been years? Since someone has acted in Duke to Brazil? Again, you gotta make this fun, right? Not just... Wall him off of Floor Guardian first thing. I don't know. I would assume they make it at least a little bit further. So, if I had to guess who was the first to die pathetic death, that, you know, uh, that uh, noble guy with the, the girls and rags. I mean, sorry for them that they have to die here, but oh well. Also, you know, if all of them end up dying... <laughs> uh... Neat. Then wouldn't the Empire just send perhaps a bigger group next time? Uh, next, next time, I mean. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Let's kill them. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gift for you, bud. <laughs> Everyone is motivated. I almost feel sorry for them, but I'm way too hyped to enjoy this right now. <laughs> I can't even. Strongest ones are just watching for fun. Death was instant. <laughs> Have you not realized yet that they are just watching this for fun? Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> well, that's how it starts. <laughs> My, what happened with underestimating you, huh? Oh well. Oh hey, you're not dead yet. Too bad for you. <laughs> well, some weird uh, bug that I really don't want to deal with. <笑>キャンバルズ。キャンバルズ。先ほども言った通り感謝しているのですよ。俺は一匹。いや、ノー、ユーノート。頑張りますよ。では、お代わりと行きましょう。I Why does everybody want to bang Ainz? I might be biased on that sense, but no. No, no all the way. Yeah, you know. A good torturer is not gonna let you die anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, the lizard man. <laughs> of course, they are too weak. Well, yeah, like hell you are. Especially if he has figured out martial arts. <laughs> I mean, it's so weird to see Hamasuki or whatever his freaking name is be like on the winning side. <laughs> I mean, he is supposed to be another you know, Wild King of the Forest or something, so he is a big deal compared to normal humans. Ooh, nice! <laughs> I mean, he has some skill, has he not? I mean, obviously nothing on the the necessary level to get through this, but... You know... Some skills. <laughs> Martial arts, yep. <laughs> Aww, sucks for you. <laughs> yeah, what even are you gonna do to them now? <laughs> nice. No, oh, they seem a bit broken. <laughs> so back to the the remainder of the of that other group, huh? 
Okay, so they didn't actually make it that far. Honestly, I would have been surprised if they did. Oh, that was glorious. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I'm honestly a bit disappointed that the whole uh, maid squad just ended up watching instead of participating. But if all of them are that weak, then it can't be helped, I guess, you know. If any of the, the people who even have a name in this place were to participate in the fight, it would be over in an instant. I mean, it kind of ended up being like that too, but... Anyway, uh, if that if this is actually called you know raiding of the Great Tomb of Nazarick Ark or something along those lines, then you're not gonna have it be over in two episodes, are you? Or three, since next one is probably when the whole Foresight group is gonna die. Oh, whoa! Never mind. We're, we're still doing something. The master? <laughs> Are you actually? <laughs> you know, they might just survive then. I'm not joking. Uh, if the whole, the whole point of all this is, you know, to to spread the name of Einzu Gon, so if he actually goes through the effort of taking them on himself. Then he might just gonna let you know one or two of them live, to to spread the word. So I'm gonna have to cut things here, and until next time, you know, bye.